you only get one opportunity to create a first impression. It's really important to stand out. You know, opportunities sometimes are few and far between, and sometimes employers have between a hundred and a thousand applications. So be bold and think outside the box. What's going to make you stand out and that employer want to read further? And I think CVs need to be tailored for the role. All too often we will see a CV that has no relevance to the company and the industry that we're in. I would advise writing a different CV for every single job that you're applying for. I think with computers this day and age there's no excuse for having bad spelling within a CV. If you're sending it out and it's spelt wrong it means hi my name's X I can't spell and I'm not going to be able to spell for you either. Get someone to proofread it for you, uh, really check sort of the layout, the spelling, the grammar, um, that's the sort of first things and they're the things that jump out um, at us when we're looking at CVs. It doesn't matter to Barclays if, if you don't have um, employment or work experience and um, what matters is that you've got drive and motivation. Do they play team sports? We work in a team environment so if you're a team player then that, that's, that's critical and, and, and that will demonstrate that. We shouldn't underestimate the power of transferable skills, uh, hobbies, things you may be interested in, things that you did at school, being creative, being artistic, being musical, playing in a, in a sport, in a team. These are all fantastic attributes to bring to what could, uh, what could be somebody's first ever opportunity in the workplace.